uh, what will be my average miles there? So uh, right now we are very busy. So most of the guys they are doing regional Monday to Friday. They are averaging between twenty seven hundred and three thousand miles. Uh, uh, ooh, some region? of them they okay. hit a little bit more than that. Some of them they hit a little bit more than that, but uh, most of them they are between twenty seven hundred and three thousand miles. All you have to do is What's up, guys? Lockout Men back again with another podcast for you guys today. And welcome to the Lockout Men podcast show. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. That is me. And in today's episode, we're coming at you with another MTC. That is Make the Call. Yes, sir. In this special edition of Make the Call, I am on the phone today with Z transportation yes sir you guys remember z transportation from the last uh from the last call that i did which was a while back uh i I think it was like what last year or something like that but z transportation inc they are let me give you a little bit of background they are located out of i'm not sure where they located location here we go they're low oops they're okay hold on they're located out of Beaver Brook, or I'm sorry, they're located on Beaver Brook, but they're located in Lincoln Park, New Jersey. Yes, sir. They are up in the Northeast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had a conversation with these guys uh, about a year ago. Uh, one of their PR, uh, somebody from their PR department reached out to me and asked me if I would like to, uh, if I would like to welcome them back on for a follow up, and a follow up I did. Yes, sir. In the next segment, that uh, in the next segment, I had a conversation, a excellent, another excellent conversation with Milan from from uh, Z Transportation. He came on and gave us a little bit of information about uh about Z Patran, I mean Z Trans. So let's uh let's go to the bit board. Let's go to the bit board and bring up uh what Z Transportation is about. So let's see if that was the right button. All right, yeah. So Z Transportation located out of uh New Jersey. So if you're interested in going with a with a trucking company that's located out of the Northeast yeah you know you're gonna have to you know you're gonna get those loads that's uh that's gonna be you know in the northeast so if you if you're a driver that's that that don't like to go up in the northeast then i wouldn't suggest going uh going up there but z transportation provides transfer transportation service across the land they are equipped to handle complex logistics accordingly the i mean accordingly according according the movement of freight between plants, ports, warehouse, and any other destination they deem fit. Uh, they offer all types of services. Let's see what they they let's see what they hire area at. This is the uh this is the map right here. Their their hire areas right here, and this is where they also go out. Uh, their home weekend areas is right here. Their over the road areas, which uh two weeks out over the road, is right here. And three weeks over the road is from Minnesota all the way down to Texas. Uh, Let's see what they got to offer. Uh, Let me see. Not much. uh, Not much as far as what they got to offer on the trucks. But but you guys would get to hear that in a in the next session. But I can tell you that they got some nice trucks. Uh, their trucks are equipped with uh, refrigerators, microwaves, all that good stuff for the amenities out over the road. All right. So with that said, let's uh, let's just stop with the intro and let's get into the call. Milan, all right. So Milan, uh, let me go ahead. Yes, and, sir. Let me go ahead and start. Uh, let me go ahead and start. OK, so Milan, man, what's going on? Uh, can you tell me? uh Tell me a little bit about Z Transportation and what you guys offer, uh, what you guys can offer for us drivers out here. 
So basically, Z Transportation as a company is based out of Lincoln Park, New Jersey. Uh, we have a couple of terminals here in New Jersey, and we have one in either North Carolina. Uh, we hire drivers from all the states. Depending on the driver's state, they can get different home time. So we can uh, guarantee home time for pretty much from all the states. And also the pay rates right now, they go between 55 and 65 cents per mile. And this will depend, of course, of driver's uh, experience in uh, driving record. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you guys, uh, you guys run all forty-eight states. Do you do you guys run like any regional or any uh, any local uh, runs or so anything like that? Basically, basically, we have a couple options. Uh, let's say we have a local from New Jersey in uh, New York area. Uh, we have uh, regional from all the most of the East Coast states. Let's say New Jersey, Pennsylvania, uh, Ohio, Indiana. Uh, that's going to be mostly Monday to Friday with weekends home position. And the uh, rest of the state, they can get over the road with two or three weeks out and between four to six days home. All right. So the guys that so the guys that are interested in uh, regional, you know, I'm, I'm out of Ohio, so I'm, I'm assuming I'm in your higher state. But uh, for a guy like yeah. me that's interested in doing regional, uh, what will be my average miles there? So uh, right now we are very busy. So most of the guys they are doing regional Monday to Friday. They are averaging between twenty seven hundred and three thousand miles. Uh, Ooh, some of them they okay. hit a little bit more than that. Some of them they hit a little bit more than that, but uh, most of them they are between twenty seven hundred and three thousand miles. Okay, okay. Now what about now what about over the road? They 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 averaging around the same amount of miles or more. So over the road is a little bit different. They can make a little bit more than 3,000 miles because right now we have a lot of, uh, let's say, uh, dedicated runs from New Jersey towards California, from New Jersey towards uh, uh, Texas and stuff like that. So there's a lot of round trips. So sometimes they can make even 3,500 miles. You know? Okay. Okay. Now but that's they have to they have to they have to stay uh, minimum two weeks out for over the road. Okay. Okay. That's that's not bad. Uh, two weeks out now. Depending on the driver's uh, driver his uh, driver history, that's that's where they that's how much you base the amount that they'll come in at. So if a driver like myself with about five years of experience, what would I be coming in? The, what would I be coming in the door to make? So basically, we are trying to be fair towards all the drivers. We are offering high pay rates and everything else, and we are trying to give benefits to the drivers with uh, good experience and good driving record. So first thing we will check, of course, is your driving record. If there is no violations or anything, you will definitely be in the highest pay rate uh, uh, possibility. Okay. And also we check previous employment verification. So we make sure that you don't have any kind of accidents, any kind of incidents. That uh, Basically, we are trying to, to find good drivers that we can depend on and pretty much that uh, we can trust. You know. Okay. And that's why we offer high pay rates to towards those drivers. Okay. Now, as far as orientation goes, uh, well, before I before I asked about before I asked you about the orientation, uh, are you a force dispatch? Because I I know you're located, I know you're located out of Jersey. You're up in the Northeast. Uh, I am one of those drivers that fears the Northeast. I I can't stand the Northeast. But if if I don't want to, you know, go up in the Northeast, am I am I forced to? come up in there like New York City, Massachusetts, Maine, you know, all them all them crazy areas. Would I would I be would I be forced to come up in there? I would say you are not be you're not going to be forced. Uh, we are based out of New Jersey, so of course you would start from here. So East Coast East Coast is something that we cannot avoid, but uh, definitely we are working with drivers and we are very flexible towards let's say sending them in their comfort zone. Uh, we don't uh, do force dispatch to New York City. Uh, of course, you cannot choose the loads from the board. Uh, we always offer you a load. Uh, there is always possibility for the driver to say that he's not interested in that kind of load or he's not feeling comfortable to drive in that position. Uh, safety is our top priority. So pretty much as long as you feel safe to drive somewhere, you can go there. If it's best for your opinion, not safe for you to go into certain areas, we will definitely not send you here. Okay, that's what's up. All right, so as far as orientation goes, guy, um, Milan, how how would you get me up there? I'm from I'm in Ohio or anywhere else in the world. How how would you guys get me up to orientation? 
So for orientation, after everything gets approved, uh, we would send you for the drug test and basically we will have all the paperwork ready before you come here. Uh, usually we prefer to do flights. Uh, flights are uh, most convenient, they are shortest and everything else. So we use flights from mostly all the states. Okay. Uh, if somebody has anything against flying, we can of course offer bus or train option or even if they want to do a rent a car option, we can also be flexible with that. We can have a couple of options for that also. Uh, usually orientation is only one day long. So okay, we okay. prepare all the paperwork and everything before you come here. You're just going to come to sign some extra paperwork uh, to go through company policies, meet your safety, meet your dispatch, uh, basically to get comfortable with us and to pick up your truck. Okay, that's what's up. What about uh, what 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 do you say to? Okay, so we got we got that we got the home time we got the uh we got the miles the miles is there. Um, what about the uh what about the equipment? What what type of equipment you guys offer for us drivers? So right now we have very good equipment to offer. Uh, this year we received around forty brand new trucks. So we are talking about uh VNL seven sixty. It's a brand new Volvo. Most of them they are between. 500 and let's say 20,000 miles. Uh, they are fully loaded trucks, so that means they have microwave, refrigerator, TV, inverter. Uh, they are clean idle, so pretty much you can idle them uh, pretty much anywhere. And um, we have a couple of more options. We have a little bit older trucks in the fleet, uh, 2018 and 19 Pepina Cascadias. They are also automatics. Uh, most of them they are equipped with refrigerator and a microwave. And for some drivers, they prefer manual transmission. We have Peterbilt's and Kenworth's. Uh, Peterbilt's are 579 and Kenworth's are T680. Uh, most of them, they are 13-speed manual. We have a couple of 10s. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of them, they have refrigerator. And as per driver request, we can also put a microwave inside or pretty much whatever you prefer, you know, whatever you need. All right. So, you know, I, I had to, you know, of course, I talked to you about a year ago, uh, about a year mm -hmm. ago. And, you know, some very, very good information uh, came out of there, uh, came from you. Uh, a lot of drivers had, you know, had called me up uh, on a personal and say, yo, you know, let me get that. Let me get that phone number to uh, to Z Transportation and all like that. I was like, cool, go ahead, give them a call. Let them know I sent you. Um uh, uh, throughout the course of the year, man, you know, we've been hit by COVID and we've been hit hard. A lot of companies had some companies like, you know, well, Celiodon shut it down, but that's not the reason, you know, COVID wasn't the reason why they shut it down. But, uh, but since COVID hit, how did it affect you guys as far as, as far as making sure your drivers still get the miles that they need to take care of home? So uh, basically during COVID, it was like for everybody else. Uh, we definitely tried to stay uh, up with the pace. Uh, we kept all the pay rates on the same level. We, we didn't drop the pay rates or anything else like that. Of course, it was a little bit uh, slower than usual because most of the shippers and receivers, as you know, as a driver, they didn't have enough stuff. Uh, we are mostly doing uh, live load, live unload. So, you know, there was a few issues with the waiting times and everything else but we try to cover it from the company side uh, we have a detention we have layover we have extra stop we pay for all these things so we definitely try to accommodate drivers in these uh, hard situations and make sure that you know first of all they're safe uh, second of all they can provide for their families and everything else you know so uh, I'm gonna be very honest with you in that time we didn't lose any drivers everybody was really happy with us Everybody had a lot of understanding. They were really flexible. So, you know, um, that was not as bad as for some other company. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. As far as, uh, as far as pre-employment, uh, like you said, you know, you try to have everything, the drug tests and all like that. As far as drug tests goes, what do you guys, what do you guys use for drug testing? Urine, hair follicle or what? So, uh, as a company, we have accounts with Quest Diagnostics. Uh, usually, we send all the drivers to available Quest Diagnostics close to their hometown or, or in their area, wherever they are at the moment. Uh, usually, it's a urine test. Uh, results are coming in in 24 hours, stops, and uh, pretty much drivers, they are walking, walk out. So, it, it's no appointment needed. You know, so it's very convenient for them. Even if they're on the road, sometimes 
if they want to just do the drug test while they're doing a reset or something, we can always find them a location close by and we can accommodate them on that matter. Okay, that's what's up. Uh, what about what's your what's your position on felons? Uh, do you guys do you guys give you know like felons a second chance or y'all don't mess with them or is it a case by case? So uh, we do thorough investigation of the drivers. Uh, we are mostly mostly looking for drivers with clean driving record and basically good drivers. Everything that's connected to the driving uh, it may, that matters to us. Uh, that other thing, we are not as picky about that. Well, of course, we do a background check for everybody, mm-hmm. you know, just to make sure we have, you know, drivers that, that they can rely on because we have, we do have a lot of expensive accounts. So we work with Microsoft and, and, and some large companies. So we are definitely trying to accommodate everybody. Uh, we do believe in second chances and everything else. So, you know, uh, I'm going to be very honest with you. I have a couple of drivers. They have some past. But uh, they're really good with us. They're drivers that we can rely on, and, you know, so far everything is going well. So I don't see that would be a problem. Okay. As long as it's not connected to the driving area, you know, it's not a problem. Okay. What about uh, now as far as, 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 far as the, pace, uh, the pace structure goes, um, you, got, you say, you know, the, the uh, top tier is like 50 cent, uh, 50 cent a mile. Um, what about it's on the tip of my it's on the tip of my tongue is is you guys uh a w2 or are you a 1099 company or both so we have options for w2 and 1099 1099 we have both options available uh pay rates can go anywhere from 55 to 65 miles, cents per mile for a start so of course everything depends on the position you want to have uh, home time you want to have your driving experience and your driving record. So we can offer options for all the drivers, you know, depending if they want to be on payroll or if they want to be on 1099. All right, Milan, hey, I, I do want to thank you for taking the time out for, uh, you know, letting us know uh, about your company, Z Transportation, man. How, how long has the company been in existence? So company is in business from 2006. Uh, so far, we are always growing. Uh, we are getting more trucks every year, so we are welcome more drivers and more drivers to come. Okay, okay. Now, my last uh, my last few questions, man. Listen, now, you know you have, you know, you're a trucking company, and, you know, trucking companies, their, their goal is to, you know, make sure that the money comes in. You know what I'm saying? You know, the goal is trying to make sure that the money comes in and – you know, make sure that the the company stays afloat. So the trucking company's focus, you know, is on the drivers per se, but their focus is on their is on their clients as well. Cause they don't want to lose the clients. Without the clients, they can't make no money. Am I right? So unfortunately we're gonna run into some disgruntled drivers. Um we we're gonna run into some of them that don't that don't see Z transportation vision as how they will want to see it. What do you have to say about, about drivers that, that, that doesn't give Z transportation a, 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 a pretty, a pretty outlook. You know, I'm, I'm looking at in uh, um, some of the reviews on indeed, some of them are good, you know, some of them are good, but then there's a few of them that has, you know, that says that like this one right here says um uh some promises was made and never complied um it said there's very little chance of advancement and stuff like that what what do you say what do you say to prospective drivers that's interested in coming into z transportation why would z transportation would be a good opportunity for them so uh, regarding the reviews and everything, I'm going to be very honest with it. I, I read most of them. There is some good ones and there is some bad ones. Uh, I'm going to say it like this. Everybody has a different perspective of how their job is supposed to be and what they're actually supposed to do. So uh, unfortunately, I have uh, company policies that I need to follow up with. And uh, on some company policies, for example, we have some driver guidelines. 
So I'm going to just give you a couple of driver guidelines like uh, no speeding, uh, no illegal driving, uh, uh, seatbelt has to be on, uh, drivers has to be safe, you know, in case of the accident, the driver needs to report it, you know. Uh, we are trying to keep everybody safe uh, for our company and on the road. So uh, most of the negative reviews, I can give you a very good background why they are like that. Uh, some of the drivers, in their opinion, they were not at fault for what happened and maybe why their employment was terminated and everything else. As a driver, you know that we all work with insurance companies. So all the drivers, they have high violations, let's say speeding over 11, 11 to 14, or, or some kind of reckless or careless driver driving, following too closely, stuff like that. Stuff like that, uh, it's going to terminate you from the company. Exactly. You know, some drivers, they feel, they feel that that was not fair. However, you know, we are trying to keep everybody safe uh, following the road uh, situation and everything else. So make sure that everybody's uh, basically following the law. Uh, we don't have any problems with DOT inspections. So we reward DOT inspections. So for clean level one, you're going to get $300. For level two, 200 For level three, three 100 So we are trying to have drivers, they will take care of equipment, they will take care of themselves, and they are mostly be safe, you know. Uh, when you have drivers that uh, driving out of hours, uh, misusing a personal convenience and stuff like that, uh, that kind of driver, maybe it's not a perfect fit for your company. So uh, we welcome drivers. They want to stay with us for a long time. I can tell you right now, I have some drivers there with us more than 10 years. You know, so we are definitely doing something good. Yes, but some drivers, they wanna come, <clears throat> some drivers, they want to come in. They want to start driving uh, as per their own rules. You know, unfortunately, we are a company and we have to follow up with some guidelines. We cannot tolerate that. So I'm going to be very honest with you. Uh, I have a few drivers that uh, they left a bad review. I, I know their names. I, I, I actually talked to them after that. And when we had a conversation after the review, uh, they said maybe they were a little bit harsh. But at the moment, you know, when everything heats up, uh, the comment comes out and it comes out. So uh, I definitely welcome all the drivers. They want to stay safe. They want to follow up with the rules. Uh, they want to follow up with DOT regulations. They can come to work for us, and I'm going to make sure that uh, they are happy and they make money. All right. Milan, thank you very much, man, for, uh, for again, uh, agreeing to come on and uh, talk about Z Transportation. Uh, again, great conversation. Uh, we definitely had a great conversation last year when I talked to you, and uh, and uh, again this year for the follow up, man. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you guys are, you guys are one of the uh, are one of the good companies. You know, you're one of the you know top companies that I have talked to, and a lot of uh, a lot of my you know followers, uh, subscribers, and everybody else that 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 seen the you know that seen the video of me talking to you you know they they mm -hmm. you know they liked it so hopefully uh hopefully we can generate uh some good buzz some good press for z transportation and uh and if you guys ever wants to come on again to you know to uh get spotlighted again on my podcast you are more very more than welcome to uh to come on no problem no problem thank you very much thank you very much for calling and um it was nice talking to you again all right milan it was nice talking to you too man you take it easy and you have a blessed and safe day awesome thank you so much sir and have a wonderful weekend yes sir z transportation everybody So again, they uh they reached out to your boy and they was like, yo, we, we would love to do another podcast with me. And um the PR department uh reached out to me via Instagram and actually I had a conversation with him like uh like maybe about six, seven months ago, but conversations kind of broke off, but then they they just picked back up recently. And uh, and they was like, yeah, we, you know, they, they, we generated a lot of press from the first 
uh, make the call video that I made with uh, Z Transportation a while back. So they decided to, you know, come back. So what do you guys think of the call, man? What do you what do you guys think? Do you think Z Transportation will be a good uh, will be a good option for you? They're all about safety. Uh, they're all about safety, and of course. You know, you got some disgruntled drivers out there, but it is what it is with every trucking with trucking company. You're going to get some drivers that don't agree and you're going to get some drivers that uh, that agree to disagree with what the how the company is run. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't like Prime. Some people don't like U.S. Express. Some people don't like J.R. Schwogel. You know what I'm saying? But if you come in and you get with the company and the company is good to you, then that might be the company to work for. So again, what do you guys think of the company, man? Leave your thoughts and comments in the comments below. And if you guys are interested in going to uh, Z Transportation, you could give them a call at 1-855-854-1400. Uh, again, that's 855-854-1400. All right. That's it for this episode of Lockout Men MTC 2.0. That's what's up. I really do appreciate you guys coming on. If you guys have anybody that you want me to call, yo, let me know in the comments below or get at me in the Gmail. That's Lockout Men Podcast at gmail.com. You can also... Hit me up over in Instagram. Get over there. And, yo, let me tell you something, all right? I love doing these calls. I love getting the information out to potential drivers. That's what I am. I guess uh, I guess you could consider me as a trucking channel, I guess. But um, but for the information that I get out there, you know, I got to research it. You know, then I got to make the calls, and then I got to talk to the recruiters for you guys. That takes time. <laughs> hook your brother up for that time you know what i'm saying you can get at me with the cash app that's dollar sign lockout man or hook me up with some coffee man you know what i'm saying anything helps to anything helps to help the channel to help the channel grow you know what i'm saying so if you want to know about z transportation or you want to know about any other trucking company out here that you might be interested in yo hook me up and I'll try and get that information for you. And then I'll pass the information that I get along to you. On that note, I want to thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more information. And when I drop videos, all right, the next call, uh, the next call video, stay tuned. Uh, stay tuned for the next call video. It might be the one you want. Until next time, you guys take it easy and y'all have a blessed day.